Hello everyone and welcome to the short introduction on Georges Hébert's method of uh, Baton. Uh, so who was Georges Hébert? Georges Hébert was a, um, a physical education specialist, a, uh, also a uh, military man or, or rather a navy officer uh, in the French Navy. So he was born in 1875 in Paris and he went on to uh, study at joinville le pont the famous um, gymnastic academy. Uh, and fencing academy uh, in the French army and he uh, became an officer aboard the ships and later on became a, a gymnastic instructor at Lorient a uh, school uh, where um, French marines were trained and he developed his own method there as many many uh, teachers did in the French army uh, his method was uh, focused on natural principles and is the uh, ancestor to in a lot of ways to CrossFit and parkour today and to many many modern um, uh, physical training regiments such as in the American army. Uh, so today we're interested mostly in his baton, uh, which was a method published in uh, a series of volumes that he did in the early 20th century. Uh, he talked about boxing, savate, uh, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, but also of course about baton and nakan. And his method is very, very interesting. It's not something that people um, explore much because it's a very uh, complex method, uh, especially the terminology he uses. But it's also one of the richest, uh, if not the rich, richest uh, volume you can find on Bato uh, because there's so many different techniques, which were probably taught in Joinville uh, to some of the more advanced students and instructors. Uh, just that we don't see them published very much in basic manuals. Uh, so you see it's very flexible and it's also, uh, according to the whole philosophy of George Abad, it's very practical. So everything has to have a practical outcome in uh, daily life or at least uh, something that our ancestors would have been using. So the stance is very much like a fencing stance but in two lines and the back foot is at around 45 degrees. Uh, so it can be centered, can be you know, with the weight back, or it can be used with the weight forward, depending on circumstances. And the right or left foot can be forward. The grip, uh, so you want to leave a little bit of uh, distance for the pommel in case you want to use it. And the right hand, uh, the thumb is extended, the left hand is closed. For the guard, you have the principal SO guard that can be taken either in cart with the uh, the right and the palm up or sixth with the palm down. So as you see here, my palm is up, my palm is down, so either inside or outside, depending on which side I want to guard or which direction I want to take to hit or defend myself from. There are also defensive guards with so a low and high guard. So 45 degrees down, 45 degrees up, depending again if I want to invite an attack or if I want to be able to defend myself more easily against an incoming attack. So again, down or up. Very simple. Uh, so those who have done longsword, you'll find some, uh, probably some useful uh, parallels. And also the Vire guard, another assault guard. So this one is used uh, mostly again for uh, attacking, but for attacking with uh, horizontal strikes, mostly with a lot of power. So the weight is forward and the end is well armed for a powerful motion. So one thing I like to do is, uh, and that's very common to a lot of French sources, is moulinet. So you want you're gonna be doing them going forward, uh, also going backward and you can do them with the weight back, the weight center, the weight forward. Again, it's very good training for the arms and the core body. Uh, gives not just strength, but also um, flexibility. And it's very good when, of course, you're doing a lot of uh, moulinet motion into your strike. So normally the rest should try to stay in the same place, but you can also do them uh, with the whole arm, depending on what exactly you want to be training for. And also, of course, you can do them horizontally, so above the head, like this. Looks, doesn't look like much, but it's a very tiring exercise, depending on which speed you're doing it from. So next, uh, we're gonna be seeing some uh, attacks 
So, uh, or rather some footwork. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the attacks are going to be going for later. So, of course, you can do attacks from either side, either leg. But right now, we're going to work mostly for the with the right leg. So you've seen the uh, front lunge. Now is the back lunge. So it's something you don't see every day. Uh, so in case you want to attack while retreating, you can also do it with a back lunge. Uh, you can do it with a half step. You see a lot in joint build material. So uh, with the back foot coming forward and the front foot, foot uh, following. So it's in between the lunge and the full step. And then with a step, so simply changing legs, and you see how my back foot rotates in order to be to use my hips uh, to the fullest uh, motion possible. And I'm doing all these attack with a moulinet viré, as we'll see later on. And finally, you have the jump, or uh, bone as we call it so you can to uh, uh, to simply cover a larger distance you can do it with uh, a jumping motion next are the attacks the first one we're going to see is the abete so the abete is a simple downward strike mostly to the head uh, you do it by bringing the, the stick above your head and then uh, striking so you can do every, most attacks with simply a straight motion or you can accompany it with one or several moulinets to get more power and this is preferable as usually you want to get as much power as possible to finish the fight quickly here you see with an inside moulinet so same type of motion and of course ideally the strike should come before the steps, depending on how much distance and speed you want to use. Uh, now we're using a, uh, uh, an alve. So alve is a backward motion. Uh, it's used to attack with what you would call the false edge if you had a sword. So you're, you're using the back of your stick to attack the hands, attack the face, the groin, so anything that is uh, that can be hit with an upward motion. Um, so if your opponent is leaning forward, you can use it against his head. Next are the viré. So these are any motion that comes horizontally. So either the face, the body, the leg, uh, and here again, directly going to my shoulder and towards the opponent. I can also use it with a moulinet. So again, to get more power, and also the moulinet do cover you yourself uh, when you're attacking. So, uh, which is something that the direct attacks do not do. This is much more safer when when I'm attacking, so controlling the space in front in front of me. Then, same thing, viré from the outside. So again, going on my shoulder and attacking straight horizontally again with a little bit more speed and see how I'm using the whole arms and the hips in order to power those and then with a moulinet again I try to come above and back uh, so back to my shoulder position And I can use this with high targets or low targets. Then it's the estoc. So the estoc is given by chambering back. Of course, it's a stick, short stick, uh, not a sword. So I need to be able to get power into it. Then for the parries, simple side parries by opposition. I can also parry by moulinet, but right now we're just going to see the opposition, simply opposing the incoming strike and reverse. And the head parry. And 
for the head parry there's something very interesting is that you can do it while keeping the hands forward and tip back this allows me to use my moulin emotion uh, quick more quickly um, as you can see here I can while I, the moment I parry I'm already in motion for an attack I can also do this with the hands apart uh, especially if I want to go forward and attack my opponent in close range. Another type of uh, pique or uh, trust here from down, up and down. So trusting to the face or the body. And I can also use the boot. So the uh, the lower hand of the stick to attack with. Now you can grab the stick, as George Arba says, either by the um, large hand or the small hand, depending if you want more more power or if you want more speed and maneuverability. He says you should be uh, grabbing it by the uh, the big hand if you want to use it with uh, for training, ideally. Uh, you can also use it in, as you've just seen, in close quarters, so using the, the middle portion of the stick to uh, attack uh, an opponent, and also use these uh, in various um, directions, so, so not just forward and back, but also turning around to the sides, uh, as you see in many uh, French manuals. So that's it for uh, this quick introduction. I hope you liked it. Uh, there's going to be more videos on different styles. If you want to see more of Charge of Fire, just let me know in the comments below if you want to see something, if you have questions. And uh, of course, uh, if you like this video, click like and subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and see you soon.